I guess the story is in a nutshell is that uh, I guess the beer has been involved in this district in the 1970s. And this pipe was a bit smaller compared to three other pipes that are drilling, they're mining right now. And it thought it was not really economic. And when we looked at it, we saw that there's a lot of breakage in the diamond when I tested it. So we saw more potential in the pipe than the beers did. You know, we took, you know, an industry that's been used to doing the same thing all the time and we brought some new equipment in, a new innovation, and that's changed the industry. The first one was autogenous milling, a much more gentle way to liberate the diamonds so we can actually recover them whole. And the second one was XRT. So XRT actually looks for what makes up a diamond, which is carbon. And we can run the machines at much, much higher capacities, much larger sizes, um, which has actually led to a simplification of the process. We can now simplify seven unit processes down to one, straight into hand sort from bulk sorting, which is a much more efficient and much more cost effective way to recover diamonds. We had a very, very quick ramp up commercial production within three months of the production of the, or the recovery of the first diamond, um, even though everything was going right. To get to the point where we truly understood the value of the diamonds took a lot longer than what we'd expected. Yeah, the first six months we mined in North Lobe, we had no large stones. And then we moved over to South Lobe and started hitting the big stones. And then, you know, so it took us a while, two, six months a year to understand what the potential we had. The biggest moments when we recovered the largest stone, the, the city La Rona, and it was 1,100 carat stone. You know, it's the largest stone, second largest stone ever recovered in the world. When we made the decision to implement the, this brand new technology never before seen in the diamond industry, it wasn't on a whim. It was based on extensive test work, testing how our material would actually behave. So there was always that, that backup science, which was put in place prior to us actually adopting things that nobody had ever used before. Yes. But it's really making sure that everybody in the team is of the same characteristic. You, everybody's got to have something different, but it's the team that actually makes the project, not the resource that makes the project. The most important thing for Lucara is the business practice which we have. In the four and a half years that we've now been in operation, we've paid back more in dividends than the entire sum of money ever raised in the capital market. Um, with a building cash balance and increasing dividend policy, I think it's testament to just how wonderful the resource is which we're mining in Botswana.